Mandalorian Season 3 Episode 7 comes out this week, and Star Wars Celebration just gave us all the details, and it sounds like it gets better? What? I didn't think that was possible. Now, I'm not one to spoil things for people, so if you don't want to know anything about what happens, turn away, come back later for the review. But if you don't care, and you're like me, and you're like, pshaw, there's no way it could get better, well, listen to this. So the name of this episode is called McClunky. McClunky. It is directed by George Lucas himself. <laughs> and it starts out with IG-11 returning from the dead. But his sentience has been reincarnated into a human. And that in the body of Taika Waititi, who now goes by the name Bubba Spanky. Bubba Spanky joins forces with Elia Kane, and together they rally the rest of the Mandalorians to surprise attack Ma off Gideon using a tactic known as flash mobbing. Meanwhile, Din and Bo fall in love, get married, and adopt Grogu as their own. Thrawn shows up in the end and gives a rather impressive musical number to wrap up the finale. I'm totally kidding, but at the rate the show is going, would you even be shocked? Okay, here's what actually happens in the episode. Spoilers ahead. So the clip opens with a futuristic city showing Elia Kane speaking to Moff Gideon through a hologram discussing the Mandalorians. And Moff asks which ones are causing the problems. And of course, it's Bo-Katan and Din Djarin. And he says, I shall deal with our Mandalorian friends. Grand Admiral Thrawn is missing. With respect, our one hope for success relies upon the secrecy of his return. I never hear a word of Thrawn. You've spoken of his imminent return. Perhaps it's time we take a look at new leadership. Okay, so we have the mentioning of Thrawn, who we just saw the back of his head in the Ahsoka trailer a couple days ago. It's clear that all the shows are leading up to this big end game where Thrawn is like at a Thanos level and he is the big bad guy. It was also announced at Celebration Day Filoni is directing a movie that is going to do this exact thing and close out all of these shows, including Mandalorian. Now, I haven't been the biggest fan of this season so far. And last episode, got a little silly. There's two episodes left, and what sounds like to me is that these last two episodes are going to be awesome. And from the people that have seen it, so there was plenty of setup in the season so far to have delivery for these last two episodes. And to back that up, here's what executive producer Rick Famuyiwa said about the last two episodes. Things have been building over the two seasons of the show and Book of Boba Fett. Obviously, I think when we get to seven and eight, a lot of interesting things have been planted and we'll see some resolution. But isn't it kind of sad that we had like a couple episodes of just filler and not really Really planting any seeds for the actual narrative of the show. It's totally cool if you're one of those persons that just enjoys every week, the little monster adventure of the week, or some random adventure, but that's not what season one and two were. We actually had a premise, an idea that we were aiming towards, and it just kind of lost it in season three for me. This week's episode is a 40 minute runtime, so it's a little better than the last episodes, but I really think it has to be longer to really make an impact, especially if you're gonna give as much story as the episode description says. For example, at the end, some Praetorian guards show up. Praetorian guards, what are they doing? Where did they come from? While I don't think Thrawn will be in it, he's at least mentioned, so there is some kind of introduction to a new bad guy storyline, maybe some of their plans, what their big scope idea is for this galaxy or Mandalore. And the Mandalorians we know go back to Mandalore, they get caught in some kind of uh, ambush, and then they're hiding out in some Imperial ship underground, and they're trapped, and that's when the Praetorian Guards come in. And the, guess what? There's another random monster attack, the Monster Adventure of the Week. And this week's episode is like, I've heard them describe it as like a dinosaur, so... I like dinosaurs. But my other question is, are we going to get some more random cameos that make no sense to the story in this episode too? Like Zeb. I love Zeb. And it was such a treat to see him in Mandalorian live action, but there was absolutely no reason for him to be in this show. And again, with Jack Black and Lizzo, I love them, but it's, you know what? I'm not going to go there. And there's tons more other details. You can find this online. I just wanted to give you the gist of it and see what's happening because it sounds like this week's episode is going to be much better than what we've had in the rest of the season. So let me know what you think. Have you seen it already? Are you excited about it coming out? Let me know your thoughts in the comments. Check out some other videos of the coverage I did on Star Wars Celebration. And until this Wednesday, my friends, may the force be with you.